one Brit Fag, one Murloc, and one Krabby Beaver. This is Nigger Please. And this is the needlessly long gap between the start and the actual content. Sound familiar? Welcome to Nigger Please, I am Total Bullshit, and this is your one-stop shop for rambling, stupidity, and mindless followers doing whatever I say. This week we'll be crashing MMO Champion by over-trafficking them and trying to send Kotaku out of business because they wrote an article about me in which they didn't put a space between cynical and shit, which is unforgivable and clearly written by a moronic entitled casual. The type of idiot who should be done to what it is and for them doing it. And the type of person who can't even make a clear and coherent point. Anyway, on with the show! Yes, it's mail time. That would be the time where we read the mail. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Dear host of shows. Say what again? Say what again? I dare you! I double dare you, motherfuckers! Well, that was clearly the wrong sound bite, but never mind. Dear host of shows, I was wondering why you have an issue with the Battlefield 3 pre-order bonus of getting content that isn't available to people who didn't pre-order, and you are okay with the Alice pre-order bonus of getting the remastered original. Your argument was that the development time went into the other game prior to release, and thus it should be part of the game on release. Clearly to remaster a game, development time has to go into it, so why is this acceptable, whereas Battlefield isn't? P.S. If I ever see you in real life, I'm going to kick you squaw in the noots. That's what it says. Squaw in the noots. Odd. Well, it's a simple answer. If I pretend to be opposed to the game, some of my mindless drones will also not buy the game, and anyone stupid enough to listen to me not playing the game would make the community much better for it. So really, DICE should be thanking me for promoting the boycott of their game. You're welcome, DICE. Now this guy has clearly made a valid point, but I'm going to completely miss it and call him a moron for suggesting that Battlefield 3 will be a COD clone. For one thing, BF3, as those in the know call it, will have dedicated servers, which is a massive deal, and it won't be a really horrible, linear, story-driven game that is COD. I mean, supposedly I never played Modern Warfare 2 because I was part of the <laughs> boycott. <laughs> I haven't played the single player from the campaign of Black Ops either, but I know what I'm talking about, clearly. Sure, the linear gameplay gives you a great story-driven linear plot, but the linearity of the success of the COD franchise is causing all modern games to be way too linear. Perhaps I used the word linear too much. Hmm, no, I only used it five times in one sentence. Okay, I think I've been talking for long enough. It's time for some really horrible music. And good news, I've been given permission to leave this one in the podcast, Please enjoy Bleeding Ears Caused by Loud Music by Facefuckers Metal Band Ruffle. Enjoy. And we're back. Now, I'd like to talk about the recent 4.0.6 patch and how they're needlessly nerfing some heroic bosses. Let's pull up MMO Champion real fast and and I'm being told it's down. Good work, drones. Okay, let's see, um... I've got them here somewhere. Okay, uh... Fuck. Okay, here we go, patch notes. Let's take, for example, da-da-da... Ah! Baron Ashbury from Shadowfang Keep. Let's see... 
damage done decreased by 15% and having one of his abilities removed. Now, at the time that I made this stupid statement that's being parodied here, I didn't have a level 85. Hell, I didn't even have a level 81. But the content was easy in the beta. Sure, I had a pre-made character with a full item level 3595 <laughs> and overgeared it. Which, by the way, overgearing stuff makes it way too easy and I'm against overgearing content. But I thought this was an easy fight and by nerfing it, Blizzard is only encouraging entitled casuals. There's nothing wrong with having three abilities that need to be interrupted, even though only 53% of the class spec combinations have interrupts and so most groups wouldn't have enough to do the encounter. As for the damage reduction, this is a flat out nerf. There may be an ability that reduces every player's health to 1%, letting tanks often instantly be killed, but maybe instead of, of nerfing it, the tank should just be better. If you can't get past a simple heroic boss, maybe you shouldn't say, Ugh, total bullshit, this fight is too hard, I demand the unbalanced fight be nerfed down to my level instead of me getting better. People like this should join a guild. And if you can't join a guild, maybe it's because nobody likes you and you're adopted. Try making your own guild. I mean, this only requires 9 people who like you, don't have a guild, are willing to wait through 3 months before it ultimately fails, or if you're lucky, manages to pug a healer, a tank, and a DPS, making it not technically a guild run, and then down one boss before someone rage quits. It's that easy! Anyway, in the me time, here's some music. The music here has been removed due to copyright issues. One of the reasons you listen to the podcast instead of the live stream. Of course, why you listen to this at all is beyond baffling. Now, 4.1 was a complete and utter disaster. We were promised something that we were told was not a promise, but merely a plan that was subject to change more than a year ago. I've been very tolerant of this during the beta, but now that it's live, it's a huge deal. They promised us Firelands, and what do they do? They push it back. Stick to your guns, Blizzard. If you're going to announce something unofficial, then you should stick to it. On an unrelated note, watch my series Azeroth Almost Daily, which I said would be coming out every weekday, but I often miss episodes for no reason other than I spaced on it and ultimately stopped making it because I can't be fucked doing anymore as I've already clearly successfully trolled the internet. Uh, I mean, quit wow for my <laughs> principles. <laughs> I can't even do it without laughing. Okay, that's our show. Uh, we'll wrap this up in the usual way. Shout outs. Today we have Help Me, I'm Being Held Hostage from I'm Locked in My Closet at 321 Real Street. A shout out to Bacon is a Vegetable. And last, a shout out to I Have My Crosshairs Aimed at Your Head. Ryan Dunn, check. Total bullshit, check. Thing you do before you wreck yourself, check. Justin Bieber, tomorrow. Rebecca Black, Friday.